Hi everyone, it's going to be a small tutorial how to use Insight Maker to create causal diagram and in this tutorial we're going to create two simple, very simple causal diagram. One in the type of reinforcing loop and one the type of balancing loop. So Insight Maker is a free tool. All you have to do is to register and then log in and then you can do create new insight. It will take time. It will bring the default with a demo model. If you click the yellow, click me to clear, it will clear it. And then you are ready to go. I'm going to add two visuals to make uh, the diagram nicer. In order to do that, I'm going to do control and right click. Then I'm going to do create a picture and I'm going to control C, control V it just to make it more easier. Then back on the, di on the image, right click, shift right click, primitive, picture then building images then I'm using this one for balancing loop and the same shift, control right click primitive build in here I need actually to use two so let's take the positive reinforcing loop and is pull brother the negative reinforcing loop and that's all we're ready to go so this is going to be a really simple example uh, all from the world of management not necessarily the term that I like, but I think it's going to be pretty clear for everyone what are those two types of loops are. So the first one is going to be a reinforcing loop. In order to do that, we are going to do control and right click. Then we are going to create a variable. So causal diagrams are actually variables and how each and every variable cause changes on another variable. So this is the first variable. The first variable, we will call it, I, I hate employee. So let's take staff performance. So this variable represent staff performance. Then we're going to add another one, right click. Control, right click, create variable, and this one we are going to call, I don't have any option, like manager satisfaction. Um, so those are the two variables, and in order to connect variables, I need to go up here and change from flow to links. Then when I'm hover on top of a variable, I can take the line and drag and drop it. So now I create a causality between staff performance and management satisfaction. Shift and click will create a, another handle and then you can move the line. And the same thing we're going to do from manager back to staff performance. One of the main concept in system thinking, which causal diagrams are part of them, that everything is bi-directional, there's no one direction. So the second thing is to define what are the relationship, and actually there could be two different relationships here. Or the staff performance, what I need to do is double click, is going to be positive, which means that to take the cube and move it, and then the plus is moving. 
So if the staff performance has positive influence on the management satisfaction, the management satisfaction is going to have a positive impact on the staff performance. I need this cube and move it. And if you want to increase to work with a little bit bigger font, all you have to do is come here and change it to, I don't know, 24, to be easier. So in this scenario, we see a positive reinforcing loop. So it's going to take this sign and drag it here. What we see here is that as the staff performance increased, the management satisfaction exists, ex increased, the management satisfaction increased, the staff performance in increased, and staff can be an employee, and we are in a very positive reinforcing loop. Um, but this loop can also pretty fast change its occurrence into a negative one where, for some reason, the staff performance is negative impact and satisfaction, the management is less satisfaction, then the staff performance is reducing and then we are getting into a wonderful, I'm just kidding, horrible or unwanted negative reinforcing loop. So those are reinforcing loop. There is always going to be something that creates an ongoing endless um, impact between two or three or five or six elements. Uh, usually all the lines that repeat causality are going to be all plus or minus. That's one indication that you are in reinforcing loop. With a simple reinforcing loop. The second example uh, that we are going to do is going to be balancing loop. And they are a little bit more complex. And um, in this example, we take, um, let's start with, it's not going to be employee. So let's do employee hours at work. <clears throat> and then let's create, again, it's control and right click, and then create a variable. Let's take energy level. It's all going to be employee. I'm just lazy. And then again, control, right click, create variable, and um, satisfaction level. Um, walk, go, enter. So here, let's make the connection. So satisfaction at work has causality on hours at work. Hours at work has causality of energy level. And energy level has causality on satisfaction level at work. And obviously, satisfaction at work will create a positive influence of the number of work as I'm more satisfied. Just a minute, let me increase the size. Um, so I select three of them. Now I'm going to go to style and change it to 19. It's okay, it's enough. Um, you can see. Um, so, as I'm more satisfied, 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 I can. Uh, I'm going to spend much more hours at work. As I'm going to spend more hours at work, is going to actually have a negative impact on my energy level. And when my energy level is going to be um, lower, it's going to um, It's going to impact negatively my satisfaction level um, and actually what we see here is a balancing loop because with some point of time it will grow 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 
So I'm going to spend more hours, spend more hours, spend more hours, then I'm going to reach certain energy level that exceed my limitation, that's going to drop this, and then it's going to go down, and then it's going to go up. This is more or less like a, a sink um, and a hose and how um, it's balanced all the time. So this is we uh, this is balancing loop as and you can see balancing loop has um even element of plus and minuses because that's what create the balance i'm not getting into delays here i'm not getting to anything else pretty simple just a, a nice explanation and a way how to use insight maker how to create balancing loop and how to create reinforcing loop i hope it was helpful um that's uh, i did the um, this video because I got the feedback that the previous one was too complex so this is much much more easier simple one to start with thanks